the equation of the line L passing through point 0 and 7, 0 is x, 7 is y, and perpendicular to line D, 3x minus 6y equal to 1, is L 2x plus py equal to c. What is the value of c? We need to get the value of c. So now we have two lines, line L, and the line equation is 2x plus py equal to c. And we have line D, 3x minus 6y equal to 1. And these two lines perpendicular, so because it's perpendicular, so slope of line L multiply slope line D will equal to minus 1. So here we need to get the slope of L to get the P, then we'll substitute with the point 0 and 7, we'll get the C. So now here we have the equation of line D. So let's make it in the form Y equal to AX plus P, because this is the line equation. So we have this line. Let's make it in the same form. So here we'll have 6 minus 6Y. We'll go to the other side. will be 6Y. And 1 will go to the other side with minus 1. So 6y will equal to 3x minus 1. Here minus 6 will go to the other side would be 6y. And 1 will go to the other side with minus 1. So we may do it in the same form here. So divide by 6, divide by 6, divide by 6. So at the end, y will equal to 1 over 2x minus 1 over 6. So now the slope of the line D is the slope line D equal to 1 over 2. So we substitute here in the equation. So slope L multiply 1 over 2 equal to minus 1. So the slope L will be equal to minus 2. Minus 2 multiply 1 over 2 to be minus 1. So we have got the slope of L. Now we have line L now, 2x plus py equal to c. Let's do it the same equals line form, make it in the line form. So py will equal to minus 2x plus c. 2x will go to the other side, it will be minus 2x plus c. So divide by b, divide by b, divide by b. So y will equal to minus 2x over p plus c over p. So here the slope, minus 2 over p. And here the slope of L, minus 2. So means minus 2 will equal to minus 2 over p. So p will be equal to 1. Okay, so the equation, we have two choices, even to substitute in this equation or this equation. So let's substitute in this equation with B. So 2x plus y equal to C. Now we need to get C. We get, so B equal to 1. We substitute B in this equation or this equation. We have both equations to substitute. So we have 2x plus y equal to c. Now the line L pass through the point 0 and 7. So we substitute x with 0 and y with 7 to get the c. So here we have 2 multiply 0 plus y, which is y is 7 equal to c. So 2 multiply 0 is 0. So C would be equal to 7. So the answer here is 7 because you ask for point, what is the C? Now the line equation will be Y equal here for this one. We substitute B with 1 
and c was 7. So here it will be minus 2x plus 7. So this is the line equation. Okay. Now, given that line T, this line T, is perpendicular by sector of segment KM. So, perpendicular by sector, so segment LM equal to KL. Now, he wants to prove that angle 1 congruent with angle 2. Angle 1 congruent with angle 2. So, to get angle 1 congruent with angle 2, we have to prove that this triangle, which is FEM congruent with FEK. We got that these two triangles are congruent, so anything inside this triangle will be congruent. Now, select the correct option from each drop-down menu that must be used to fill in for the missing reasons of the proof below. Now, first statement, T is the perpendicular bisector of KM. This is a given from the question. So, line T is perpendicular bisector. So, perpendicular bisector will lead us to the second statement that FK, FK, this FK equal to FM, and EK, this is EK, equal to EM. And the reason is points of on the perpendicular bisector of the segment are equidistant from its endpoints. That means any points on the perpendicular bisector. This is perpendicular bisectors. So, of a segment are equidistant from its endpoints. So, anything will be equal. Now, FK is equal to FK equal to FM and EK equal to M. So, segment FK will be congruent to FM and EK congruent to EM. And this is a definition of congruent segment. The definition of congruent segment that the lines are equal, so they are congruent. So now I have FM congruent with FK and KE congruent with EM and FE is congruent to FE. The same line, uh, so they will be same size. So FE congruent to FE, and this is a refle reflexive property of congruence. Reflexive property of congruence that the line is between in the same two triangles. So now I have this side equal to this side, this side equal to this side, and this side reflexive property of congruence. So these two triangles will be congruent because I'm using SSS, side, side, side theorem, which is this one. I proved that these two triangles are congruent because all the sides are congruent. So angle one will be congruent with angle two. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Anything inside the triangle will be congruent. Okay? Fill in the plank in the figure below. N is a perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector, so the segment, which is perpendicular to it, will be equals. The segments will be equals. So, PL will be equal to KB. Now, if KB is 30, so PL is 30. Now, he wants here KL. 
KL, this all KL, it will be 30 plus 30, so it will be 60. So the answer here is 60. Okay.